Hello, everyone. I'm Hong Jian Cao. Today, I will share with you my research on Wi-Fi uh, vulnerability mining. Our force is a Wi-Fi fusion tool. And using our force, I discovered many vulnerabilities in different Wi-Fi chip wonders. Uh, here is some information about me. You can find me in this way. And I focus on uh, wireless security, IoT security. Uh, and uh, reverse engineering. Uh, in this talk, I will introduce the attack surface of Wi-Fi from the perspective of uh, protocol design and its uh, implementation. Then is our force and uh, uh, Wi-Fi forcing related content. And I will analyze about wondrous Wi-Fi frame piercing uh, content check and its flaw in Wi-Fi driver. Last, uh, I will introduce uh, the vulnerabilities discovered by our force. Okay, Wi-Fi uh, vulnerability mining can start from two aspects, uh, protocol design and its uh, uh, implementation. You know that the design of the protocol is not per uh, perfect. Uh, through the development process of Wi-Fi protocol, it is also the evolution process of Wi-Fi security. It has experienced the development of WEP, WPA1, WPA2, and WPA3. But uh, the flaw of the protocol still exists. In addition, uh, there may be vulnerabilities in the implementation of the protocol, such as uh, buffer overflow and the logic uh, error. So it's very helpful to learn the standard uh, specifications of the protocol and its open source implementation when mining Wi-Fi vulnerability. Wi-Fi protocols are huge families that are uh, getting more and more complex with uh, many new features added uh, as they evolve. For example, the communication rate is uh, getting faster Roaming and uh, mesh networking are supported, and uh, security is getting better, but it's still not perfect. So when mining Wi-Fi vulnerability, we can start from the protocol itself to find the flaw of them. IEEE uh, 802.11 standard specifies the set of media access control and uh, physical layer protocols for in implementing uh, Wi-Fi communication. It contains details of all the functions and the features of the Wi-Fi protocol. with lots of new content added with each update. For example, it defines the type, uh, format, and the function of Wi-Fi frames, the content of Wi-Fi security, uh, and the uh, mechanism for receiving and transmitting packets in Mac uh, sublayer, and the operations and procedures in MLME and the PLME. Uh, starting the different versions of standards helps to understand how the protocol has evolved. An information element is a, a part of management frames in Wi-Fi protocol. Elements are a device way to transmit a dispatch information about itself inside the management frame. And there are usually several elements inside of each such frame, and each is built of type, uh, length, value, TRV format. Each uh, element ID is a one byte length field. So uh, its value range is a is 0 to 255, and uh, it is almost used up. When element ID is uh, to uh, 155, the element ID extension is present, which now expanded to uh, 93. And uh, all of these elements are targeted for forging. Uh, Wi-Fi protocol stack consists of three parts. Uh, an uh, application in user layer, uh, Wi-Fi driver in kernel, and uh, firmware in hardware. 
the user layer applications are used to uh, connect Wi-Fi or manage the device uh, Wi-Fi connection or read and write network interface configurations. According to the location of the MME entities, we can divide the, two, uh, the wireless chip into two types, software uh, Mac and uh, full Mac. Software Mac is a type of Wi-Fi chip where the MLME uh, in Wi-Fi driver. Uh, full Mac <coughs> is a type of Wi-Fi chip where the MLME in hardware. Uh, but in general, uh, it's more complicated than that. And uh, there are some uh, mixed uh, implementations. Uh, different methods uh, can be used uh, to discover uh, vulnerabilities in, in the implementation of Wi-Fi, uh, such as through uh, air interface fuzzing uh, or uh, driver interface fuzzing and um, firmware simulate, uh, simulation and uh, fuzzing or through reverse engineering. How fast uh, use the air interface to force the Wi-Fi. Okay, uh, next I will talk about how <coughs> uh, Wi-Fi uh, uh, force and uh, how it how it does the forcing uh, Wi-Fi forcing and uh, how Qualcomm piercing frames and detecting male from the frames. Our force is implemented uh, according to the 802.11 standard, so it is e so it e easier to discover Wi-Fi protocol flaws. Uh, it can force the client and AP device in any state, and it can generate all types of uh, forcing frames, including any elements, and uh, can simulate the process of interaction. In, in addition. Our force can monitor and uh, inject packets in multiple channel, channels, uh, such as uh, during forcing P2P interaction. Um, okay, let's uh, take a look at uh, the architecture of our force. Uh, it can run in, in the open Wi-Fi Linux environment and uh, use SDR to send and uh, receive packets. Open Wi-Fi is an open source Wi-Fi protocol stack. Uh, based on SDR, that is full compatible with Linux uh, Mac 80211 subsystem. It can also run an ordinary Linux PC using a USB Wi-Fi network card that supports monitor mode uh, to listen and uh, inject packets. When forcing the target device, you need to connect the target device to an AP and ensure that uh, all force can communicate with the target device over, over the AP. All force uh, will construct a malformed Wi-Fi frame and send it to the target device. Um, <coughs> uh, it will detect the status of the target device every time it sends, uh, the, uh, it sends a testing frame and uh, record the testing frame if the target device status is abnormal. Of course, uh, detects whether the target device is abnorm abnormal in three ways. One is to monitor whether the target uh, has sent the auth or the, so, uh, uh, the association frame. If sent, it means that the target device Wi-Fi connection is abnormally disconnected. Uh, two is uh, to monitor whether the target device continuously sends frames to determine whether the target Wi-Fi mo model or system is uh, abnormal. Uh, three is to detect whether the network connection of the target device is normal through ICMP. Using the comb combination of the three methods, L force can detect the abnormal abnormal of the target device, but there will be some false uh, positives uh, which need to be verified uh, verified by manual reproduction. 
Okay, let's see how uh, our force uh, perform forcing frame notation. Uh, our force needs to construct and send testing Wi-Fi frames during forcing. There are three main uh, types of Wi-Fi frames, uh, control, management, and data frames. The frame is composed of two parts, MAC header and the frame body. The length of frame body is a variable. Take the management uh, uh, frame as an example. The frame body part is composed of fixed uh, uh, fields and elements. The element is data in TLV format. Some elements uh, have a fixed uh, length and uh, some and some have a length range. Uh, during forcing, uh, we need to construct a normal or uh, a male formed frame to achieve the purpose of testing. Uh, to achieve the forced test efficiency, I will set the forcing strategy according to the characteristic of each element and uh, quickly conduct a boundary test. And uh, our force will test the value uh, part with uh, different content. At the same time, a combination of multiple elements will be present. Will be present in uh, management uh, frame forcing. Uh, in general, when a frame received, it will be processed in firmware. If it is a control frame, or it will be handed uh, over to up layer for further processing. If it is a management or data frame. Uh, take a Qualcomm Wi-Fi driver uh, as an example. Let's see how the Wi-Fi driver uh, parenting the IEs in the management uh, frame and how the how how to check the uh, legal legality of its format. All management frames will eventually, uh, eventually be uh, parsed by the unpack core function. P buff is the buff, uh, buff pointer to the frame contents. The IE's array is the predefined uh, relevant uh, values of all elements that may appear in this frame, such as the element ID, the maximum and the minimum length of the element, the possible length of the OUI, and whether the element uh, must uh, exist in this frame. Take the begin frame as an example. The IES begin array predefined elements and its related content that may appear uh, in the beacon frame, such as the SSID element. Uh, the ID is uh, zero. Uh, minimum size uh, is is two and the maximum maximum size is uh, uh, thirty four. So F metery is one, which means that the SSID element must exist in beacon frame. Uh, in the unpack uh, core function, it will detect whether a predefined element appears in the body and uh, whether the length of the element is legal. Uh, for de details on how to check the elements, then you can look at the source code. If a uh, uh, male formed element is detected, it will uh, be skipped or jumped to the metric check and then exist the function. The parenting of the elements in driver is already pretty good and the buffer overflows rarely occur. But for this still works. Uh, in fact, the material check is invalid. Even if the material element is missing or new forms, i.e. Uh, exist, the frame will be processed further. Uh, this uh, uh, may produce something unexpected. And uh, the received forcing frame uh, will be processed in the 
uh, firmware first, and uh, the security of the firmware is uh, uh, relatively weak. Okay, next, uh, I will talk about the vulnerabilities discovered by our force and uh, uh, exist in different uh, vendors. The vulnerability discovered by our force, uh, including protocol design and uh, implementation flaw that affect a wide of de devices, even latest WP3 and Wi-Fi 6 devices. According to the impact of this vulnerability, uh, there are five falling types, and some of them uh, exist at the same time. DOS attack means that uh, when attacking a device, it will send a DOS to a pure device to uh, disconnect the Wi-Fi connection. The, uh, this lasts only a short time, and uh, the device will be reconnected. A long period of DOS means that when attacking a device, uh, its network connection will last for a period of time. Uh, this could be a long time. Permanent DOS uh, means that when attacking a device, it, uh, uh, its connection will last uh, permanently until the device restarted. Or when attacking a device, its Wi-Fi driver or firmware will crash. Or the flaw will lead to a man-in-the-middle attack. Okay, the authentication frame DOS was uh, uh, discovered in Qualcomm Snapdragon series and the Huawei Kiri uh, 99 uh, Zero mobile phones, a personal hotspot. An attacker can disconnect a connected device from hotspot hot by sending a forged uh, authentication frame, even if it is malformed. The authentication frame does was discovered in Botcom chips router device and the Huawei, and the Huawei Cree, uh, 9 Zero mobile phones hotspot. Um, the attacker can disconnect a connected device from AP by sending a forged uh, malformed uh, association frame. Uh, the big dust was uh, discovered in uh, Qualcomm Arthur's killer wireless AC. Uh, 50, uh, 35 wireless card and uh, Intel AX200 Wi-Fi 6 chip device. An attacker can disconnect the device from AP by sending a forged beacon frame with the false HG information or informed the specif specify element. Um, the Intel AX to, to zero, zero so from where will crash in certain case. Uh, this uh, QS data long period uh, does affect the uh, Broadcom, Esprit, and uh, Qualcomm uh, Astro's uh, QCA9005 Wi Fi chip devices. Uh, a table can. Uh, can attack a target device by sending a QS data, a QS data and a CF ACK packet with advanced sequence number and the random body data. Once the target device is attacked, its network connection will be disconnected for a period of time and all network connection will be interrupted. Uh, this uh, block SK uh, request a long period of DOS affects a large number of spray and uh, Broadcom Wi-Fi chip devices. An attacker can attack the device by sending a, a block uh, SK request packet with advanced starting uh, sequ sequence number and uh, may form the data. Same as the previous uh, QS data attack. 
once the device is attached, it, the network connection will be disconnected for a period of time. Uh, and older, uh, older version ESP2022 uh, 20, devices even crash and, res and uh, restarted autom automatically. Uh, this two uh, long period of DOS uh, attacks are associated with uh, AMPDU and the block ACK uh, mechanism. The block ACK mechanism improves channel efficiency by aggregating several ac acknowledgments into one frame. A sender can aggregate uh, up to 64 MPDUs in a MPDU frame. If a receiver receives at least one of the MPDUs successfully, it sends a block ACK from a frame informing about the transmission status MPDUs. Block ACK window size is equal to 64 that uh, is a mechanism allowed a MPDU lens. Sender can transmit the MPDU as sets uh, within the block ACK window. Block ACK window continues sliding forward until any of the MPDU as uh, inside the block ACK window fails. Uh, and a, a receiver recording buffer shall be maintained for each block ACK uh, uh, agreement. The receiver recording buffer continue specify how, how received packets are buffered to maintain the order under, under block ACK within a sliding window of the expected sequence numbers. The sliding window of expected sequence number is determined by when start B uh, indicates the next uh, uh, expected sequence number that uh, has not yet been received. When end B indicates the end of the window. When side B indicates the size of the reception window is uh, smaller than six, 64. When a uh, data on block ACK request frame received, the sequence number may outside of the re reception window. So the attacker can forge a, a data and or a black ACK request frame with uh, uh, an advanced sequence number so that the sliding window is moved uh, unexpectedly. And uh, the legitimate uh, packet uh, received uh, uh, thereafter will be discarded and expected. Uh, the, and the, 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 the QS uh, CFHK or CF4 uh, DOS was discovered in, in Qualcomm as a killer virus AC uh, uh, 5035 card AP mode in Windows system. Forged uh, QS CF ACK uh, package with advanced uh, sequence number and uh, random data will cause its driver crash. The permanent dust was discovered in Broadcom chip 2.40 AP devices. An attacker can uh, use a forged control wrapper frame that carried RTS frame with a false, uh, trans with false transmitter address to uh, cast AP to a permanently dust to all uh, client, uh, client device. The AP need to restart to recover. Oh, the next uh, is about a CSA frame. Uh, Forged begin 
uh, proper response uh, action frame with the CSA element will cause um, DOS attack to any uh, client device. The channel switch announcement is used by an AP to advise that uh, when it uh, uh, when it is changing to a new channel and uh, the channel number of the new channel. An attack could uh, utilize the channel switch announcement element to force other stations in the BSS to uh, change to, to a different channel uh, when an uh, AP still uh, remain on the orig original channel. New, uh, new channel number can be even set to an invalid channel or the CSA element is incomplete. Once station uh, has switched to an invalid channel, they have to wait an additional timeout before trying to establish a connection on the original channel again. Uh, here is uh, uh, an incomplete CSA case. Obviously, before switching to the new channel, it does not check the uh, validity of the element uh, content. And the ESP32 device will keep uh, crashing that the connection can only be recovered by reboot. Uh, another vulnerability is uh, extended uh, channel switch announcement. The ECSA is an extended version of the channel switch announcement. Bring CSA feature to all 802.11 bands. ECSA 4 are uh, similar to CSA channel uh, which affects most uh, wonders. It has two main flaws. One is DOS attack, like CSA DOS attack. Another is a uh, uh, channel based man in the middle attack, which can force a client to connect to a, a attacker's log AP. Uh, same as CSA uh, channel based. Uh, uh, MITM, the two Wi-Fi cards are required to obtain a multiple channel, multiple channel MITM position. WLAN zero uh, is a managed mode interface that used to uh, start um, ROG AP, same as the real AP, but the channel is different. Uh, WLAN 0 mon is a monitor mode interface that's used to listen packets on the ROG channel. Uh, WLAN uh, 1 mon is uh, also a monitor mode interface uh, that's used to listen packets on real channel. WLAN 1 stay is a management mode interface to echo a frame to act frames uh, sent by the real AP. After start the real AP, the attacker can send the ECSA action frame. Then the target device can be forced to switch to the rock channel and connect to the uh, rock AP. When successfully updating a multiple channel MITM position, attacker can enable reliable Manipulation are uh, our encrypt in frames. Okay, my sharing is over. As we can see, uh, our force can discover vulnerabilities in Wi Fi protocol design and its uh, implementation. Some are generic or already exist, and some are newly discovered. DOS, uh, and the DOS attack are um, more common in Wi-Fi and uh, the security in this area needs to be improved. And uh, malformed frame should be treated uh, 
more strictly in driver and uh, firmware. Okay, so the last here is uh, address where you can find my alphas. I have opened it uh, before, and uh, I will continue to update it. Okay, thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me.